Hey, so let me tell you a little story. So you wake up, it's a normal day, but something feels off. Something just hits you really hard. And it's the realization that your life is extremely boring. You probably realize, oh shit, time's going by really fast and life is actually super short. So you wanna make the most of your life, but you have no idea what to do. So you just have a normal day. You wake up, you scroll a little bit, go on reels, kinda laugh a little bit. Maybe you go to school or work. Maybe you go to the gym, video games, eat, repeat every single day for years and pretty much just every week. If you're like me, I remember I used to daydream all the time about doing cool stuff, living a cool life, having unique experiences, going on cool adventures, meeting new people, and learning a lot of cool things. But I never really did it, and it was just pretty much my dream, right? Just, well, look, you don't need to daydream about living a cool life, and it's actually quite simple. And I'm living proof, because I used to play video games for 8 to 16 hours every single day, and that's all I did for a year straight during quarantine, right? And now, my life is the complete opposite, and now I feel pretty fulfilled doing cool stuff. Okay, so reason number one. You probably don't want to really admit this, but you gotta admit at some point, our moms were right. It's that damn phone and those damn video games. And let me explain that. And this is a pretty big promise, but I'm gonna help you actually make life more enjoyable so you no longer feel the need to just take up time and empty time with your phone. You probably already know that Using your phone a lot is bad, and playing a lot of video games is bad. And it makes sense. When you're on your phone all the time, you're not living in the real world at all. You're pretty much just in this little reality of just being stuck on your screen. So of course you're not gonna have an interesting life when you're literally not living in real life. You're just sucked into a screen. Literally using your phone more and playing more video games for the most part is just living less in the real world. So your real life is probably gonna suck more. And that's pretty obvious. Most of us kind of know that, right? But the problem is, is once you quit your phone addiction or your video game addiction, what is the alternative? Because now you have all this extra time and you don't know what else to do with your time. So you're probably just gonna go back to your phone because you're bored. So we need to figure out some things we can do instead of just wasting our time. So most of the time when we you know, rot our brains with just kind of mindless entertainment, like reels and video games and that kind of stuff, it's because we don't really have anything else planned to do. So we're pretty much just taking up some empty time. So the automatic response when you have nothing to do is just to start scrolling and to open up your phone like this, if I had a phone, or to just sit down and start playing video games. And then that time just passes by. So this is a super easy step, but the first thing you can do is to simply just plan more things out. Because when you have things planned out, now you're gonna have a little bit less empty time that will pretty much just prevent you from automatically starting to scroll on your phone or just hop on video games. So simply, what are some things that you would like to do today? It doesn't have to be anything crazy. But what's something that would just kind of make today more enjoyable and more fulfilling? What would make you feel happy at the end of the day and fulfilled, right? So all you can do is just write a few things out and just plan your day a little bit more. Most of us don't do this at all, but simply just planning out your day and having an idea of what you're going to do today is going to help you prevent from just getting stuck on your phone because now you have an idea of what to do. Figure out a way that you won't be able to forget this. And this will already help quite a bit from having less brain rotting moments. Because chronic phone usage and doom scrolling is one of the things that make your life boring and it prevents you from really having new experiences because it just keeps you doing the same behaviors and keeps you in the same spot. So it is pretty helpful to cut these things back at least a good amount because it's kind of like the first step we can take to start making our life a bit more interesting. What are some things that we can plan out to do that'll make our life more interesting? First of all, here's a pretty good mindset that'll actually help you change that pretty much worked for me. First of all, realize living a cool life where you have a lot of stories to tell, you learn a lot of new things, you improve in things that are fulfilling to you, and pretty much just not living a depressing life, it's not always gonna be like the most comfortable thing. It's not always gonna be easy. You're gonna have to go out of your comfort zone a lot of the time. Just kind of put this into perspective. Do you think the guy that just sits around and eats Feastables and Lunchlies and watches Kai Sinat streams, do you think he's gonna have an interesting life? No, he's living in comfort and he's just gonna stay in the exact same spot. So when it comes to living a cool life and actually enjoying your life more, a lot of the times you're gonna have to have to take more risks and <clears throat> really seek more discomfort. And through that, you're gonna just have more cool experiences that will happen. There's a few things we wanna do that are very important. So the first thing is just to have a seeking discomfort mindset. A lot of times we think like discomfort is something bad, right? Just cause it feels uncomfortable, but a lot of times when you make yourself do uncomfortable things that are kind of risky 
or that you think you're not necessarily capable of, but you just try it anyways, a lot of times, that's when a lot of cool th things can happen in your life. You can make cool connections. You can maybe find a new interest that's really cool. And it's just a good way to start opening up more pathways to do cool stuff. Sometimes some of the best and coolest experiences are doing things that you're afraid of. Like maybe you have this huge fear of just posting on YouTube, but instead you're just gonna seek discomfort and you're just gonna do it anyways. And maybe that's the start of something pretty cool. Or you have this fear of doing MMA, but you really wanna try it, right? So if you have a seeking discomfort mindset, you're just gonna do it anyways. And then now you might have actually something new in your life that's gonna be interesting, right? Maybe there's this adventure you always wanted to go on, right? And since you seek discomfort, you're gonna do that adventure. And through that, you're gonna have a lot of cool stories to tell. One of the things that will keep your life just super boring is just staying comfortable in the spot you're in right now. So when it goes through day to day, just have more of a mindset of seeking discomfort, doing the difficult things and taking the risks. And you know, just embrace it, right? It should be fun. Like it should be fun to challenge yourself and to just do things you're a little bit afraid of. So when that thought comes up of like, oh, should I do this thing? It's kind of scary. Just do it, right? Maybe it's the thought of starting a YouTube channel, just asking that random girl out, right? Maybe it's the thought of just asking your friends to start a band or something, or going on that adventure, or trying that trick on your skateboard or your mountain bike, or whatever it is, or starting that business, right? Doing those calls, whatever it is, right? If you have the mindset of just being like, ah, oh, you know, that's kind of scary, you know, how can I take away all this risk? A lot of times, you're just gonna get nowhere and you're just gonna be bored. So sometimes it can be really cool to just seek discomfort. There's a YouTube channel that really inspired me to start doing more things and it's called Yes Theory. And this is where the whole like term seek discomfort came from. They do a lot of crazy things like they'll find a map, they'll throw a dart on it and they'll just go travel to that location. Or they'll ask like some random person to go traveling with them. They'll do a bunch of random like discomfort seeking things that are difficult and kind of scary to do, but a lot of times they have the coolest stories that come out of them. So I recommend you just check out the channel Yes Theory because they have a lot of cool things that could inspire you and this could help you get some ideas. The next uh, sort of mindset, I guess, um, is seeking new experiences, right? And this kind of goes to taking more risks and seeking discomfort, but it's also to seek new experiences, right? You're probably not gonna live much of an interesting life doing the same things you're doing right now, right? You're watching this video because you want to do something different. So right now, just think of some things you've never done before and just write them down. And then those are going to be things that you're going to do. And you're going to use the discomfort seeking mindset to go do those things anyway. So what are some things that you kind of want to do that you've never done? Maybe to start a fight class. Maybe it's to, I don't know, like whatever it is, right? Just think of it and be open-minded to doing new things, right? Whether that's like trying to learn a new language, maybe it's to learn an instrument, maybe it's to, I don't know, learn how to fight, maybe it's to any sort of skill or any sort of experience, and sort of expand your experiences because when you do that, you're gonna have more opportunities to meet interesting people. And when you seek out new experiences and like just have the open-mindedness of just trying new things anyways, you're gonna have more interesting stories to tell that are gonna be like fun when you're sitting on a campfire or whatever the fuck, you're gonna have a lot of cool lessons you'll probably learn and it's just gonna make your life more fulfilling and interesting. Last little mindset thingy that I think is helpful is to start getting the habit of breaking out of familiarity, right? Sometimes part of you wants to kind of keep living the same boring life. Well, why is that? It's because it's familiar and that familiarity is comfortable, right? Living that sort of boring life where you just eat chips, you know, sit around, not really take any risks, the one thing that is good about it is that it's comfortable, right? And it's familiar. Most of us people, the unknown scares us. The unknown kind of like makes us worried a little bit, right? So a lot of times we'll just try to stay in the same spot because that familiarity is more comfortable, but that's one of the worst things you can do. And that'll keep you in the same spot. There's probably some things that you just keep on doing like weird little habits weird little behaviors that you know fuck your life up, that you know keep your life very boring and unfulfilling, yet you do them anyways because it's com somewhat comfortable and it's kind of routine and that's kind of how you're used to living. So you know what they are, right? Deep down inside, you know what they are. So ask yourself, what are these things that you keep doing that you know are kind of bad for you, that keep your life boring, that you keep on doing anyways? I know you know certain behaviors that you do that feel kind of comfortable that you keep on doing that keep your life boring, right? Maybe it's that you're, 
you always talk yourself out of taking any risk. Maybe it's you just, you know, you tell yourself you're gonna be productive, but you just scroll a bunch on Instagram for hours anyways, right? Maybe you just keep on telling yourself that you can't do certain things. Whatever it is, you probably know what it is. And if you don't, get a piece of paper and just journal about it for like 30 minutes and I'm sure you'll probably figure something out. The last thing is, here's a little tip. So on your phone, on the YouTube videos you watch, on the video games you play, you're probably seeking out certain feelings that these things give you, right? Maybe you play a lot of adventure video games like maybe Red Dead or GTA. And those are cool games. Like I'm not shitting on those games, but when it gets to like spending hours on them, you're probably playing them because you want to feel that sort of adventure because your real life doesn't have it. So the substitute is doing it through video games and stuff, right? So what you want to do is just figure out like, okay, what experiences am, am I trying to feel through these video games and stuff? And how can I do it in real life? So now I have a little challenge for you. So seven days starting from tomorrow, you're going to give yourself a new thing to try every single day. Just do something you've never done before each day. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It doesn't have to be like, I'm gonna start a business tomorrow and I'm gonna like, you know, ask a hundred fucking girls out or like, it doesn't have to be that, right? It can just be one small thing that you think would be pretty cool to try tomorrow. This could be like to wake up really early and just try mountain biking on a certain trail. Or maybe it's to just try a muscle up for the first time. Right? I recommend it should be something new and something that's a little bit out of your comfort zone. And simply just giving yourself new things to try every single day and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone not only will it help like develop your character and that kind of stuff, but you'll probably also get some pretty cool experiences out of it. I recommend doing these new experiences and these new little challenges every day as things outside. And the reason why is because it's kind of easy just to like live a boring life indoors most of the time. So this could be something like really easy. It could be just waking up at 5 a.m. randomly and just going on like a peaceful walk and finding a fruit tree and just picking a fruit out of it, right? Just walking a different way to school and just trying to have a conversation with one stranger. Or I don't, I don't know if you've seen those videos where people try to trade a paper clip and see how like far they can go. You could just give yourself a little challenge like that. For the seven day challenge, try to do at least one thing in each of these categories. So the first thing is to challenge yourself socially or do something new. So this could be really anything. It could be as simple as just saying hi to two random strangers on your way to school or any sort of commute. This could be just doing the little challenge you've seen on YouTube probably where people get a paper clip and they see how far they can trade it. And you could get some pretty cool stories out of that. Or you could just interview random people on the street that seem interesting. Or this could be, I don't know, just asking the girl you like in your class for her phone number. It could be either something really small or something kind of big, but whatever it is, it should be something new that you haven't done that is also somewhat pushing you out of your comfort zone or slightly risky. Next thing is to do something that you haven't done that is something like physical. So this could be like, maybe before you go to work or school, you give yourself a couple hours and you try to run your first 10 miles or something like that. Or you try to hit a workout just at a park or on a tree branch and see what you can do. Or maybe it's you just go on a hike or something up a big mountain that you really want to climb up or you could just ask your friends you know after school or work or before hey you want to go do some sparring with boxing and you just get hit in the face a little bit and humble yourself any sort of physical type of challenge um, this could be exercise it could be trying a new exercise going on like some sort of hike run or expedition it could be asking a random person if they want to hit a workout with you anything like that something physically related. The next thing, it would be based off of learning something new or trying something new. So this is just doing something that you've never done before. This could be like trying to play guitar for the first time or trying to enroll into a jiu-jitsu class for the first time. Or maybe today's gonna be the first day you learn how to code or the first day you record a YouTube video. Pretty much just learning any sort of new skill that you haven't tried before that interests you. And then the last thing would be something adventure related. So this is simply just going on an adventure. So like, this could be like getting your friends and planning to go on a massive hike up this mountain and it's gonna be a whole day thing. Or this could be trying to break into an abandoned building. I'm not responsible for any crimes, but it's a good idea. Or 
maybe you just hop on a random train and see where you go and you just find like some random little live music venue underground and it ends up being really cool any sort of adventure right simply just changing your mindset a bit like before being more willing to take risks and then also giving yourself seven days to try something new every single day and a little bit of a challenge and doing this for a couple weeks will already make your life a lot more interesting you'll develop your character a lot more you'll be a lot more outgoing and you'll be a lot more willing to try new things, which is super important. You're gonna break out of your old ways, which keep you in the same spot. And you're gonna have a lot of cool stories to tell just from trying these little challenges. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to make your life more interesting. The main thing is just simply breaking out of your whole old habits and your old behaviors and forcing yourself to do things that you're a bit afraid of and forcing yourself to take risks. And hopefully this video made it make sense in an organized way. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next one, bye.